Hello and welcome everyone to this episode of PC Tech Spec, and today we're going to be talking about how to get computer parts or whole computers for free or at very low prices. Now I'm going to be talking about two systems that I got for free in nice gaming cases, or at least I'd like to say uh, decent enthusiast grade cases, and um, I got these on Craigslist. I posted out something on there and I asked if anybody had any computers that they didn't use that I could work on because I'm an IT major and I want to work on computers and I got a guy who emailed me and said hey I got a lot of stuff you want to come get some so I'm like sure and I went and I got these two really nice cases and they had some parts in them but he scrapped stuff like the RAM the hard drives and I thought he even would have taken out the CPUs because the heat sinks were on there. And, you know, they could have the CPU underneath, which makes a lot more sense because they mount properly with the CPU underneath. But he could always just mount the heat sink over it because, you know, heat sinks, they're pretty generic. Like the ones, the a AMD stock heat sink and the ones like a cheap knockoff, which is even worse. But the both of these cases, while they both are complete... Some are missing some screws. There's one that's missing a couple uh, front expansion bay panels. I was able to slap in, you know, a power supply into the one of them. I had a box of extra screws that I used to screw on the side door. Other, other than that, it's pretty complete. Both of them are pretty nice. I think they're both from Apevia. A-P-E-V-I-A, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. They're actually a pretty much a budget brand. I don't know if they're still making a lot of good products today, but these are some older cases. I went out and I saw reviews on the one that date back to 2007, 2006. So these are like uh, yesteryear's gaming cases, but you could still put uh, some low end mid grade stuff today. It has plenty of room inside. It's got metal cages, which are non removable for your um, five and a quarter drives and your three and a half inch drives. So there's plenty of space inside and they actually did come with processors, but like I said, no RAM. Uh, one didn't have a power supply. One had like barely any screws for the power supply. So it's all kind of crazy. If I would have stayed and got a couple more things, yeah, I would have been able to get out with more. There was possibly a uh, Phenom 2 X4, which is a quad core that's like still worth $100 today. The box I got, but there it could have been in a plastic wrap in there somewhere. But the whole thing was sketchy when it came to me picking up these parts. So be very careful when you go to get these parts. You never know where you're going to end up. I happen to end up in a slummy kind of area, but luckily the guy was like, hey, come take the stuff off my porch. You know, I went and I did. And luckily, you know, there's no weirdness of being able to meet the person there because you, you never know, right? So I went and I got what I could, but the neighbors were staring at me, so I kind of had to get it. And yes, this was legitimate. So don't think, I, I didn't steal these. This guy told me he even covered it when the rain came. So he wanted to get this stuff out. You know, I could. it's genuine. People don't want to have this stuff. And if you make a use of it, they'll be happy to. So the one that looks like a car, you'll probably, I already showed you guys some footage. The one that looks like a car, uh, that is the Xfinity by Apiva. I can't, I still can't pronounce their name. The case that I showed you that looks kind of like a car is the Apiva X Infinity which that came with some pretty junky parts like the Athlon 64, 3500 plus, which can only hold four gigabytes of DDR, 400 megahertz RAM, only one gigabyte sticks because it's four slots, a total of, of four gigabytes. And the other one, which is the, I, I'm going to assume is an APV. Uh, sorry, you're going to kill me on that name, but yeah. It's, it's probably like a generic model. I don't know. I had no name on it, but it is sporting a Athlon X2 7850 processor. So it's a decent dual core that's unlocked. So you can actually overclock that, which is quite impressive. And that can hold RAM up to 1066 megahertz, eight gigabytes of DDR2. So it's not DDR3, it's DDR2 but this processor can only support uh, a front side bus of 800 megahertz. So I'm probably gonna get some 800 megahertz and on eBay, you could snatch two gigabytes of DDR2 800 megahertz for like three bucks for AMD uh, processors. If for some reason there's like a, a thing where uh, foreign dealers will sell that kind of stuff super cheap, granted you have to wait because they come from China and Hong Kong and those places over there. But if you live over there, I'm sure it won't take very long. But if you're like me and you live in the US, these things will take some time. I actually did a couple of benchmarks on the one that I could boot up and that was the one with the uh, 7850, the dual core. And I took some uh, RAM out of a, on the PC that I had the server PC, cause I'm gonna get uh, the eight gigs for the AMD 
uh, system, but I wanted to borrow some just to do these benchmarks. And we did get some pretty good results. I did uh, severely bottleneck a 750 Ti that I put into it, but this is just to show what the CPU was capable of. I didn't want the GPU to be uh, bottlenecking this really weak CPU, which is, it's this is a sad event all around if I were to put my GT 630 into it. So I just, I completely bottlenecked the CPU with my GPU. Just I wanted to test out the CPU. And for Minecraft, we got some pretty good results. Um, I had it locked at 70 FPS because it liked to do some pretty weird frequent dips into like, if you had it on VSync, it would dip down to 50 for some reason. So I put it up to 70. So when it would dip, it would dip down to 60. And um, I had it at like 13 chunks. I had it max settings. And actually it was running pretty smoothly when you'd fly around, you know, it's pretty normal to see your computer FPS like really drop, especially in single player because this wasn't single player. And um, we had a lot of stuff going on and we were flying in the air. Um, we got about 40 to 50. I have, I have uh, the FPS counter. I didn't, well, I'm not able to record these because this computer is not capable of multitasking at all. It's a dual core, it's pretty weak. And uh, I could just, I had to record it with my camcorder. So you'll see the FPS counter and I'll have a text that says flying test and a walking test. The walking test was much smoother, of course, as you would expect. And uh, these settings were all maxed out except for the chunks because the chunks, that's what's limiting it. You can't load in too much stuff at a time without uh, weakening the crap out of the system. And I also tested unturned and that worked pretty flawlessly. That's more on the GPU load. So we were seeing about like 70 to 90 FPS on like medium high settings. So this isn't a CPU intensive game. So the system got away with that. Uh, had plenty of RAM, four gigabytes to run all these. That one system before that was like the the twenty five dollar upgrade that only had like two gigabytes. So that everything was pretty unplayable, really unsmooth frame rates. But when I get up to eight gigabytes, this system will be pretty self sufficient. I might see if I can afford a processor upgrade. I don't know. I might just turn and sell these cases because these cases are still pretty gorgeous. I'm gonna hand clean them all. Like just with you know a moist towel, so I don't short out this stuff, and I'm gonna hopefully be able to sell them because they're still pretty good looking cases. They are missing a couple things, but other than that, you know, if you just need a case to put some stuff in, like maybe some parts from here, they're very good cases. So this is what I could find for free. Other tips you might want to find other computer components. Uh, looking at yard sales, get really low prices. It's not free, but you can get somebody who maybe has like a, a third, second gen i7. And they're like, oh, you can have that for 10 bucks. Like that's a freaking steal right there. The desktop versions, at least. The mobile versions, not really so much. The laptops, you should probably get those for a really low price. Um, ask your coworkers. A lot of people around you, and they say if you work at a, a fast food restaurant, they have computers just to have computers. They don't really know that much about them. And if you're really experienced, you could be like, hey, I'm just working on computers. Can I please, if you have any old computers, can I please have them? And they'll probably be like, sure, because I get a free computer from my coworker just because she didn't need it anymore. I'm like, awesome. Another option might be flea markets. People are always trying to sell stuff at flea markets. They just want to get out of their face. They want your cash. And if you can find a really good deal, maybe like a, a nice i5 or a nice i3, you can go grab that. And um, maybe just like kind of lowball and say that it's an old system, even though like computer parts in reality can last like 10 years, like under a moderate amount of use per day, like maybe like eight hours a day for like 10 years. It depends on how well they're treated. If they're never cleaned out, they probably won't last very long. But hey, you know, just try your luck, right? So this was a couple ways you could get computers at a reduced price or for free like I got and also how they perform. So your results will vary. These were only AMD computers. This guy also had a really old like beige system that was fully loaded. It was like a good 20, 30 pounds with all the crap inside, but that's like old uh, IDE hard drives, like th like 30 gigabytes, maybe like 20 gigabytes. So it was just not worth me taking it. It would have gone to scrap anyway. So it's going to go to scrap. If I would have stayed a little longer, I probably could have got a processor and RAM, but the whole thing was sketchy and I just wanted to get out of there with my computer parts. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will keep making more quality content. Uh, I wanted to bring that sleeper build to you guys. This was not the sleeper build, but it's having some issues. It will not put video to the screen. Maybe I'll like ask somebody for help on that. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep looking up solutions and keep working on it. But today I'm going to be kind of busy and I want to record a video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this nonetheless and I hope you have a great day.